in search of scriptures, we are on study number 16 in the book of 2 Samuel, winding down this book in just a few days. Today we're on 2 Samuel chapter number 22. And in this chapter, we are going to uh, be reading a song that David wrote, and we are going to attempt to answer a couple different questions from this song. Number one, are there any passages in this psalm that we could not echo as Christians? And secondly, does the psalm bring to mind any particular incidents recorded in 2 Samuel? Well, let's look at this psalm in 2 Samuel, chapter number 22. David sang to the Lord the words of this song when the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. He said, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge, and my savior. From violent people you save me. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise and have been saved from my enemies. The waves of death swirled about me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. And in my distress, I called to the Lord. I called out to my God. And from his temple, he heard my voice. And from my cry, my cry came to his ears. And the earth trembled and quaked. And the foundations of the earth shook. And they trembled because he was angry. And smoke rose from his nostrils. And consuming fire from, came from his mouth. Burning coals blazed out of it. And he parted the heavens and he came down. Dark clouds were under his feet. And he mounted the cherubim and he and flew and he soared on the wings of the wind. And he made darkness his canopy around him, the dark rain clouds of the sky. And out of the brightness of his presence, bolts of lightning blazed forth. And the Lord thundered from heaven. And the voice of the Most High resounded. And he shot his arrows and he scattered the enemy. With great bolts of lightning he routed them. And the valleys of the sea were exposed. And the foundations of the earth laid bare at the rebuke of the Lord, at the blast of breath from his nostrils. And he reached down from on high, and he took hold of me, and he drew me out of deep waters, and he rescued me from the powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. The Lord has dealt with me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he has rewarded me, for I have kept the ways of the Lord. I'm not guilty of turning from my God. All his laws are before me. I've not turned away from his decrees. I've been blameless before him. I've kept myself from sin, and the Lord has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanness in his sight. To the faithful, you show yourself faithful. To the blameless, you show yourself blameless. To the pure, you show yourself pure, but to the devious, you show yourself shrewd. You save the humble, but your eyes are on the haughty to bring them low. You, Lord, are my lamp. The Lord takes my darkness into light, turns my darkness into light. With your help, I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. For who is God besides the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer, and he causes me to stand on the heights, and he trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. You make your saving help my shield. You, your help has made me great. You provide a broad path for my feet so that my ankles do not give way. I pursued my enemies and crushed them. I did not turn back till they were destroyed. I crushed them completely, and they could not rise. They fell beneath my feet. You armed me with strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. You made my enemies turn their backs in flight, and I destroyed my foes. They cried for help, but there was no one to save them. To the Lord, but he did not answer. I beat them as fine as the dust of the earth. I pounded and trampled them like mud in the streets. You've delivered me from the attacks of the peoples. You have preserved me as the head of nations. People I did not know now serve me. Foreigners cower before me. As soon as they hear of me, they obey me. They all lose heart. They come trembling from their strongholds. The Lord lives. Praise be to the rock. Exalted be my God, the rock, my Savior. He is the God who avenges me, who puts the nations under me, who sets me free from my enemies. You exalted me above my foes. From a violent man you rescued me. Therefore I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing the praises of your name. He gives his king great victories. He shows unfailing kindness to his anointed, to David and his descendants forever. 
Question one, are there any passages in this psalm that we could not echo as Christians? Well, if there is, I, I can't find them. This song is powerful. I love the imagery of God hearing David's prayer from his throne room and rising to the occasion and coming to his aid. What a powerful song. Question number two, does the psalm bring to mind any particular incidents recorded in 2 Samuel? Well, David's claim of righteousness and blamelessness kind of raises my eyebrows here when, when I think about Bathsheba, when I think about all the errors with his family and those around him uh, that are leading up to this chapter. But no doubt when David is writing this psalm, he's, he has written this song after a time of repentance when he is enjoying the victories of God uh, in his life. So that should remind us that there can be a song, there can be a new day, things can get better, God does forgive. We see all the tragedies and the disaster in David's life, yet he's able to write a song like this and write it from a feeling of righteousness and blamelessness. It's just incredible, it just shows the grace and the mercy and the forgiveness that exists in God. I hope this study has been a blessing to you today. May God richly bless the rest of your day.